Welcome to another Pelco support video. In this video, we will cover how to create an NSM storage pool. Let's begin by opening Pelco Utilities. Once at the login prompt for Pelco Utilities, please log in with the admin credentials. Just as a note, the default user is admin with the default password of admin. If this has been changed, please log in with the site's admin credentials. Once logged in to Pelco Utilities, we will need to click the search button in order to find the security devices on the network. Pelco Utilities has discovered two NSD. NSD stands for Network Storage Device. We will be adding both of these NSDs to our recording pool. A quick note before we go through the process of adding the NSDs. You want to make sure that all NSDs are on the same firmware version. In addition, they should also be on the same VLAN. Once you confirm both the firmware versions and the network settings, we now can add our NSDs to a storage pool. To add the NSDs to the storage pool, right click one of them. From the context menu that appears, select Open Web Interface. With the web interface for the NSD now displaying, log in with the admin credentials. The default is admin for username and admin for password. Please keep in mind, this is not an Endura account. Once logged in, the first thing we need to do is switch the unit role to manager. Once the unit role has been changed, the next step is to give the unit a unique name. The suggestion here is a name with a number. In this case, we're going to be using two NSDs, so we'll leave it as NSM5200 underscore 01 for the first unit, and then underscore 02 for the second unit. This helps in easily identifying the individual NSDs. The next things we want to set here are provide a pool name. This is the name that identifies all NSDs within the pool. After that, we want to select the correct time zone. Once that has been set, we want to type the IP address of the NTP server. Next, we want to enter the failover IP address. This will be the IP address assigned to the pool. Going forward, we will be able to type in this IP address in our browser and this will pull up this pool we are creating. The failover IP is a virtual IP address that links us to the manager pool. Once done, click Save. The process of creating the pool has begun. This will take several minutes to complete. We are going to skip ahead to the creation process finishing. With the process now complete, let's head back to Pelco Utilities. Back in Pelco Utilities, let's right click the second NSD and from the menu select Open Web Interface. Once at the login page for the second NSD, input admin admin for the username and password. Just like with the first NSD, this is not an Endura account. Once in the web interface, verify that the unit role is set to member. If the unit role is set to manager, please change it to member. Just like with the manager, we are going to change the unit name. We're going to make this NSM5200 underscore 02, showing that this is the second unit in our NSM pool. Next, we want to provide the same failover IP address that we used for the manager in the pool. You can click the manager tab, which should still be open in your browser, and copy and paste the failover IP address from the manager tab to the member tab. Once the failover IP address has been entered, we want to go back to the manager tab and copy the manager key. We will then place it 
in the manager key location on the member. With the key now entered, click Validate Manager. The green check mark confirms the manager has been validated. With all of the required information entered and the manager validated, click Save to save the configuration. The member NSD is now joined to the My Pool 1 recording pool. Now let's go back into Pelco Utilities. Once back in Pelco Utilities, click Search. The search will now show a new device, an NSM. The NSM is a combination of both the NSDs. Now let's go back in our browser and type in the virtual IP address that we set for this pool. Just like with the previous NSDs, the username and password will be admin for username and admin for password. As before, these are not Endura accounts. Once logged in on the left side, click the NSM pool button. Here in the NSM pool, we can see our two NSD devices and our unassigned cameras. We can select a group of cameras and click add. Once we've added them, click save. This will add them to the pool and start recording. If you would like to log out at this point, you'll click the button on the top. Once done, close the browser. This completes this video and thank you for watching.